Wild cards are great to use when you're not exactly sure what your criteria will need to be in order to return specific results. For example, let's say you're looking for a customer by the last name of Arsenault, but have no idea how to spell that last name. By using wild cards, you don't have to get the spelling right, just close enough, or at minimum, at least the first couple of letters. Now, you have a variety of wildcards that you can use. There's the asterisk, which will match any number of characters. For example, if you begin typing SM followed by an asterisk, that will return any customers whose last name or first name or whatever field you're typing that criteria into, that'll return anything that begins with the letters S and M. The question mark, on the other hand, will match any single alphabetic character. So if you type B question mark LL, that will return any number of options. It'll return Bill, Bell, Ball, Bull. So it's really just replacing that one character slot. Square brackets are great when you want one of several particular single characters within the brackets. So if you type B square bracket AE close square bracket LL, that will return two results, anything that spells out ball or bell, but it'll leave off bill and bull. Now the exclamation point you can use in combination with other wild cards. So if you were to tack that on to our previous example and type that square bracket exclamation point AE in between the BLL, that will give you the opposite. It'll exclude any records. It'll, it'll exclude bell and ball and show you the opposite. It'll return the results bill and bull. The hyphen character will match any one of a range of characters, but you have to specify that range in ascending order, A to Z, not Z to A. So combining that with the brackets, if we typed bracket A hyphen C, that'll return all results within that range, A, B, and C. And that again is for that one character slot. Now the pound symbol is very similar to your question mark, only instead of returning an alphabetic character, it'll return a single numeric character. And those are all the wild cards that you can use. And jumping back to Axis, let's try a few of those wild cards out. Now if we go back to our previous example, we're looking for the customer by the name of Arsenault. Well, sounding that out, we know that that customer's last name at least will begin with A, R, and S. The rest of it's kind of questionable. Well, if we go right underneath the last name field and type our asterisk character, followed by A, R, S, and then press Enter, notice what Access does to our criteria. It'll add the operator like right before our criteria. That again is because anytime you use a wildcard, you have to use it in combination with the operator like. Now Axis saves you some trouble and we'll type that in for you. And it's also going to place quotation marks around our actual criteria and the wildcard will go inside those quotation marks. So now when we run our query, here's what it gives us. It gives us a bunch of last names whose ends with ARS. And that's not exactly what we're looking for. What we want to do is start our criteria with that. So we need to move our asterisk to the end of our criteria. So that way it begins with ARS. And now we found the customer we're looking for, Christopher Arsenault. So you can see that the position of where you place that wild card really does make a difference in terms of what results are returned. Now likewise, if you know ARS appears somewhere in that name but you're not really sure where, you can combine the asterisk character before and after, and that way it's going to give you a lot of different results. In fact, 42 names contain the letters ARS together in that name. Fears, Larson, Marshall, Pearson, Sears. So that just shows you how you can combine wildcards together to really customize exactly what you're looking for. And let's do one more. Let's go to our state field. And this time, let's say that we know it's one of the states beginning with the letter I. Well, we can type I and then question mark to replace that second character. And that's going to return Iowa, Indiana, Illinois, Idaho, I think, uh, in, did I say Indiana? I think I said Indiana. 
So there's all of our I states. And that is how you use wildcards to find specific data in select queries. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office, or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.